Hello everybody, welcome back to Meta Perfume. I'm Emily here with Twixie. And I am not gonna cry in this video like I did in my last one. <laughs> um, I did a little self-care in between this video and that video. I took my bra off because I wanted to be comfortable, which is why I put my robe on, ate some lunch, smoked a little weed, and yes, I smoked some weed. I use it as my only medication for bipolar, which I was diagnosed with in my early 20s. And Mary J. Wana helps me regulate my mood and my sleep. And sleep is the main component of keeping the bipolar in check. Actually, there's one medication I use in case of emergencies. If I am hypomanic, which is a precursor to a actual manic stage, you usually can tell if you have insomnia. Um, I had insomnia for a couple days, I might take some Zyprexa, which has been uh, useful to reset my sleep cycle and get me back to balance. So bipolar one, name of the game is balance and sleep. Um, <clears throat> and to that end, yes, I use marijuana. So that's out. <laughs> but I also have a haul today because I've been doing retail therapy, obviously, um, you know, managing the the challenges of day to day. So I got a, a cart put together from Fragrance Net and I'm gonna review my haul purchases today. And the first one I'm going to cover is this oldie but goodie Lover Dose Red Kiss. This is a yummy gourmand fragrance. It's nice for a date night. I think that's a Kind of what it's known to be is kind of a date night fragrance and the reason it's so nice is because it's it's kind of edible like notes you know gourmandy but also not um it's very pleasant and close in you can get right up on it and it's it's still not overwhelming um it, it's inviting it makes you want to get close to it mm -hmm. the top notes are sugar black currant apple and bergamot with sugar being the most prominent middle notes are cacao pod hazelnut orange blossom and apricot the cacao and the hazelnut being the most prominent in the middle and then the base patchouli and amber oh, it's really delicious it's just got a really nice um that coconut and or sorry not, no coconut cacao pod and the hazelnut blend really nicely with the subtle base. It's, they didn't put a, an overwhelming amount of patchouli or amber in it, but it's just nice enough so that it kind of warms everything and gives it that sort of intoxicating thing that patchouli does without having, um, a, you know, a, a, a whole lot of it where you would have to be like, I love patchouli to, to like it. It's just really well balanced. Mmm, it smells really good. Lover Dose Red Kiss. This is my first haul purchase. Love it. Actually, I've associated this with somebody. And I'm still hanging out with him a little at the moment. So, hmm, yeah. Anyway. But I'm single. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got. Excuse me. Um, okay. My least favorite, surprisingly, is this Guerlain. So I'm generally very trusting of Guerlain fragrances. Like I blind bought this based on the notes and the reviews and the Fragrantica rating was like huge, like 4.3 or something, very high. Um, this is Eau de Guerlain by Guerlain. I think this is an EDT, Eau de Cologne. Eau de Cologne, um, it's a unisex fragrance and this to me was probably my least favorite of them. Although it's not a bad fragrance, I do think I will wear it. I do think in the summertime, especially, I'll, I'll work my way through this fragrance. I don't dislike it. I just think it's so reminiscent of Lemon Pledge, the wood cleaning product. That that's what I that's what I smell. I smell like. I feel like I smell like lemon pledge. It's also got pretty poor longevity. Um, the notes, it's a complex fragrance. The notes in this one are 
Top notes of lemon, bergamot, basil, and fruity notes. Uh, middle notes of bergamot, mint, caraway, lavender, carnation, jasmine, sandalwood, rose, and patchouli. So a really complicated middle. And then in the base, oak moss, neroli, musk, and amber. Now this is so like lemon heavy to me. I would not have guessed almost any of those other <laughs> notes. <laughs> I mean, it's got a little, <clears throat> a slight little bit of the herbs. So it's not overly herbaceous. I feel like the combination of the lemon with the herbs maybe is what makes it sort of lemon pledgy. <laughs> but I don't get, I don't get much of the base. I don't get much of the mint. I like all of these notes in here. I can't, there's just must be a tiny little smidgen of all of these notes to give it this, this scent. Um, it is definitely like a daytime fragrance. Definitely very light. Um, I'd say this lasts like two hours, two and a half, maybe. And yeah, it's nice, you know, definitely in the summer. I think maybe the longevity will be a little better when it's hot weather. I could see this being nice in the hot weather. Um, and I wish it was a little bit heavier in like the mint. I love mint. No, but I just get the tiniest little hint of it mixed with all those other notes. Um, I'm going to say because I really like most of the fragrances that I get in this haul, I'm, that's why I would say this one is my least favorite. But overall, I don't think it's a bad fragrance. I think it's just a little bit too reminiscent of Lemon Pledge for me. And the longevity is very, very short. Um, so yeah, I think mm, summertime, give it, give it some wear. Um, see how it stands up in the, the really hot weather. I think it'll do well. So I'm looking forward to, to wearing that one later. Uh, next, I got this Eclat de Arpege from Landvin. And this was a recommendation from Sarah Mays. She really likes it. So I got just a mini to see what I thought. And I've already used like a quarter of the mini at least. I'm going through this fast and I do think I will actually buy the, the larger size because um, <clears throat> it's really good. It's really unique. It's a little bit intoxicating. The top notes on this one are green lilac, which is kind of a more earthy, less florally smelling lilac, I guess, because I don't really get lilac much in here. Um, green lilac, tea leaf, and peony are the top notes. Oh, <laughs> Um, the middle notes are peach blossom, wisteria, petit grain, and Chinese osmanthus, and then the base, musk, cedar, and amber. Um, I get a lot of the tea leaf. I love a tea fragrance. And I feel like this is a nice tea, kind of unique take on tea with those unusual florals. And green lilac, peony, peach blossom, wisteria, Chinese osmanthus, all these are kind of like lesser used fragrance or floral notes that combine really beautifully in this fragrance and mix really well. I'd say this is definitely like a warmer weather, springtime or summertime fragrance. Really nice for the day. I've been using it throughout the day. Um, it says about three hours, three and a half hours of longevity. No, it's not bad, moderate, hmm, maybe four. really nice. It's just got this unique kind of intoxicating tea floral with the musk and the, the woods and the base. Yeah, the Clot d'Arpege by Landvin. Glad I got this. We'll probably get the bigger size um, when I finish this and it seems like it's gonna go fast because I just got these all like maybe 10 days ago something like that and I'm already pretty far done. So there's that. Um, next I got a tester of Idole by Lancome and I like this fragrance. It's a floral rose fragrance. Mm. 
Mm, especially like the, the opening. Oh, it's so good. Pear, bergamot in the top. And then the mid, Turkish rose and rose de mai and Indian jasmine. And then in the base, white musk and vanilla. It gives it a pretty good longevity with the white musk and vanilla. It's like five hours, maybe six hours. Hmm. I especially love the beginning. I don't dislike the dry down or the end. I think it's nice. I enjoy it, but I, I really love the way it starts out. It's just like calming and kind of soothing the rose and the jasmine, but also brightened up by the, the fruit, the pear and the bergamot. And that musk just makes it very inviting. Mm. Yeah, Idol by Lancome. Very nice. <laughs> Next, I got another Brittany because I have a lot of the Brittany's. I've not all, I gave two to my nieces, but um, all the rest so I got just a small bottle of the festive fantasy <laughs> festive fantasy the bottle is kind of cute stripes and this is a fruity vanilla very true to the fantasy line um, it's more of a, a cherry excuse me take on it and the top notes are dewberry sour cherry plum, uh, middle notes of jasmine, freesia, and lily, and then base of sugar, vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. So that classic fantasy base. And this is just a lovely feminine, fruity, youthful. It smells yummy. It smells like Kind of like candy, but not not too much like candy. It's not like people are gonna smell it and like immediately think of candy. It's just got this sort of like we like a cotton candy. I know it's not in here as a note, but maybe the dewberry is doing that. And the sour cherry, the plum. It's just a very like sugary, sweet, fruity, vanilla -y yumminess. It's gonna be nice for cooler weather. Evening, date night, you know, fantasies. I think they're good. I think she she does well with these fantasies, especially if you're into like a very feminine, sort of gourmand, fruity. Yeah, and the, the opening is really nice with that dewberry, sour cherry, and plum. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I like it. Fist of Fantasy by Britney Spears. Very nice. And the last two that I have, one is a, it's probably trending because it's been recently recommended by Demi Rutlands, who, you know, depending on how enthusiastic she is, she can still get, and how inexpensive the fragrance is, she can get me to buy stuff. Definitely check stuff out at Lucky Scent. Okay, this is Yes I Am by Cacharelle. I think the packaging is kind of cool. It's unique, interesting. It's kind of maybe a little hokey, but I, I don't know. I like it. Um, a little lipstick, a little lipstick, and then you push this to spray. And it's powerful. My couch is gonna smell good now. <laughs> uh, it's got good longevity. It's definitely got like six or seven hours. It's really nice. It's like, to me, to my nose, I get mostly the benzoin, the vanilla, and the licorice. And that to me is great because I like all those notes. Benzoin is intoxicating, but it's a complicated fragrance. There's a lot of notes. It's a very fruity top. It mixes really nicely with this very complex base. Um, the top is raspberry, mandarin orange, lemon, and bergamot and the middle is gardenia ginger flower amber jasmine rose orange blossom and then the base is milk 
caramel vanilla milk caramel vanilla cardamom licorice coumarin which is tonka and benzoin amber wood and sandalwood so this is like luxuriously rich base that benzoin milk vanilla oh, caramel it's just really like delicious well crafted interesting unique intoxicating like yeah demi was going on and on so i had to check it out and i'm not disappointed thanks demi it's a good good recommendation and i like it i will use it I use it I've used it already got good reviews i wore it on a date and my friend said it was fruity <laughs> so he got a lot of the fruit in it <laughs> whereas i think it's like Kind of like that medicinal licorice benzoin vanilla thing. That's what I get right away. I don't think of it as fruity, but so it is that too with all the fruits on top. So yes, I am by Cacherelle. Very yummy. And last but not least, drum roll. It's an Elizabeth Arden fragrance. And I will blind by Elizabeth Arden if the reviews for it are good and the notes look good. And they did in this. Um, and this is... Definitely my favorite. And I think all of these are good. I was not really disappointed with anything. I mean, my least, I was least stoked about the Eau de Guerlain, but it's still a good fragrance. And I know that like, I'm gonna use it. Oh, this isn't the last one. I'm missing one. Oh, I like that one too. Okay, sorry. I'll go, I have two more. This is the second to the last, but this little gem, which I've already used you know, a fair amount. It was it was up there and I've been spraying it like crazy. It is not a commitment. I'm gonna say that it's doesn't have great longevity. I probably get like two, two and a half hours out of this. But the scent, Whew, I'm probably gonna go through this and repurchase it as long as it's available because I love the scent that much. It's so, so yummy. Provocative Woman by Elizabeth Arden. Very inexpensive. Mm. This is so good. Of it, the notes in this are top notes of quince, ginger, lotus, raspberry, and peach. Middle notes of orchid, freesia, pink freesia, sorry, apricot and papaya. And then the base of sandalwood, hinoki wood, amber, red amber, white tea, and cedar. Well, that's interesting that there's white tea in the base. I don't know. The ginger, I get the ginger, I get the quince. There's just a lot of notes happening in this, but the marriage of all of them is so yummy and unique. Yeah, it's to me it's intoxicating. It makes me want to just keep spraying it, <laughs> even though the longevity isn't good. Um, I, I, yeah, I do think really I will. Uh, provocative woman, by Elizabeth Arden. I will buy this again after I finish it. Maybe I'll even buy a backup bottle when I get like down there because who knows this underrated kind of fragrance I've never heard of before I bought it on fragrance net. Excuse me. Who knows if it's uh, gonna stick around. Let's see. Mm. Mm. I'd say it doesn't, um, yeah, it doesn't last long, but I, it's so good scent wise that I'm okay with it. So that is Provocative Woman by Elizabeth Arden. Wear that. Could even be a signature scent if you didn't have to spray spray it so much. I mean, I would wear this as a signature scent, I think, but it is the longevity is pretty bad. <laughs> All right, now this one. Oh, I didn't write down the notes because I forgot to do this one. Oh well. I will put the notes up here. I'm not going to cover them. I know there's lemon and mint. Those are the two that. Mm. Yeah, no, this is also one of my favorites uh, from the haul. This is Happy Chopard. Happy Chopard. I think it's called Lemon Dolce. 
and it's really nice lemon summer fragrance it reminds me a lot of um, a lemony version of the Pacific Lime by Atelier Cologne that is one of my favorite fragrances and this is like a cousin of that whether that is heavy and lemon and maybe a little bit more feminine that one is I think pretty pretty unisex and then this one just has a little bit more femininity but it still has that uplifting like mint <sighs> lemon it's just it's very nice I've been spraying this a lot too and I'm gonna be using it a lot in the hot weather because it's just very uplifting this is one of those fragrances to me that's like mood enhancing like if you want like it says happy happy Chopin <laughs> for a reason <laughs> because it does it, it the citruses generally I think are mood enhancing they, they make you a little happier for whatever reasons we're hardwired to like fruits and citruses um, and this is no exception it's just well crafted yummy from the beginning to the end lemony but not um, without smelling like a cleaning product which is pretty awesome because <laughs> i think a lot of lemon fragrances you know are kind of a victim to that because lemon is used so often in the cleaning product so but this one doesn't it's like kind of a light tropical summery minty lemony yumminess so that is my haul. The Lemon Dolce by Chopard, Labrador's Red Kiss by Diesel, uh, Clap de Arpege by Lanvin, Dole by Lancome, Eau de Guerlain by Guerlain, uh, Yes I Am by Cacherelle, Festive Fantasy by Britney Spears, and the like fully provocative woman cheapy from Elizabeth Arden and hope you all enjoyed this long haul video and have a good rest of your day please subscribe and like and I'll see you in the next one take care bye bye